Hey guys, this is Dream Blender here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an image on your object in Blender 2.56. So open up Blender if you haven't got it open already. You should have the default cube and with that default cube you should have a default color to it. So first off we're going to go into edit mode by hitting tab on your keypad and we're gonna go into edge select mode you can do this by one or two ways you can either select it down here with the cube that has an edge highlighted or the way I prefer you can hit control tab and select edge hit A to deselect everything and I'm gonna navigate around with my numpad one for front view three for side seven for top and then control one for back, control three for the other opposite side, and control seven for bottom. Along with that, there's four, six, eight, and two, which navigate in different angles. So, to start out, I'm going to select the left, right, and bottom edge of our front face of our cube to select multiple edges hold down shift as you right click as I got all three highlighted I'm going to hit control E and mark seam as you can see we've got a reddish orange highlight going around those edges now that's good that's exactly what we want because that tells us that those seams have been marked what we're doing right now is we're setting up a seam layout for our object which is the cube here that way if you're doing something a little more complex like certain pictures on each side or maybe a dice or a cube with a crate layout to it this will make it easier to control where you're putting your images next we want to select the right and left side of the top face and hit control E mark seam then we want to select the back right and the back left and do the same thing as well hit control E mark seam after that we don't have any more seams to mark which is good also if you can't see through your uh, cube here all you have to do is simply select this button right here which toggles being able to see through your object uh, clipping the visibility or uh, yeah limits your visibility to either you can either see through it or you can make it to where you can't see through it that way if your objects really complex sometimes you don't want to select things in the back and it just makes it more messy but since we got a cube we'll have it enabled next we're going to go over where it says edit mode next to it the viewport shading we're gonna hit textured as you can see everything's highlighted okay still staying in edit mode go to the top right of your 3d viewport screen where you have your angled dashed lines we're gonna click and drag over to the left to open up a new window go to the bottom left of the screen select the button with the cube and go to UV image editor from here we're going to select everything by with your mouse in the 3d viewport screen select everything by hitting a hit U unwrap now you can see that you've got your UV image and not UV image sorry your UV laid out from your cube you got your front top back bottom and then both of your sides that's exactly what we wanted and that's why we set it up set up our seams if you wouldn't have set up your seams you would have got just a bunch of squares or if you want to unwrap cube projection you would have got something like this with overlapping edges and stuff like that so we're gonna stick with our own unwrap that we did from here go to image open and find your image that you wish to put on your cube I am going to put on the three the logo for blender once you find your image just open it up okay as you can see we have our image here now but it's located at the bottom of my cube since this is the bottom face so we're not going to be able to see it right now 
Well, you can fix that by one of two ways. You can either, well, three ways, I guess. If you want to completely change your image, you can do that. Or you can rearrange it inside the UV image editor by rotating it to where you want it. But for me, since I'm just doing a cube, I'd rather just do it in my 3D viewport screen. So I'm going to select everything, rotate it on the x-axis, negative 90 degrees. Now I can see that it's facing towards me, but it's sideways. So now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees again on the y-axis, negative. That way we've got it facing right side up and towards the camera. I'm going to go on back into object mode and now you can see we've got our image on our cube. So let's render it out. As you can see, we don't get anything to show up. Our logo, or the Blender logo, is not there. So you might be wondering, why is this? I just put it there. I told it where I want it. Why isn't it showing up? Well, it's simple. In Blender 2.56, all you got to do is go to your Materials tab and go down to where it says Options right here. And you want to make sure Face Textures is selected. So make sure you got the check mark there for face textures. Now let's try and render it again. As you can see, now we have our image applied to our cube and it's visible in our render. That's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you put on an image with your UV image editor and face textures still applied. Make sure you have your face textures actually applied or you will not get your image on there. This is one way to put on an image. This is the only way I'm going to show in this tutorial as of right now. You can also go through and add in a different texture and make sure that texture is an image, but I'll go through this on a different tutorial later on. This is Dream Blender showing you a Blender tutorial and Blender 2.56. I hope you found this very useful for your projects and I hope to see you next time with my Blender tutorials to come. Thank you very much. Dream Blender.